Hey, this is Nate Stock, uh, PDGA number 82421, um, and I'm going to do my in the bag for 2019 season, um, trying to become a member of Team Trilogy. Um, we'll start off with the bag. I carry a Commander bag. Um, I've had this bag for um, over a year now, and um, by, by far my favorite bag um, that, that Dynamic puts out. Very lightweight, and I love the open concept um, to be able to get to the discs. Um, we'll start out with putters. Um, I've always putted with judges, um, classic blend. Um, I've got a matching set here, uh, just in case I lose one. Um, don't have any distinctive marks on either of them. Um, I just kind of grab one out of the bag and go. Uh, really love using the judge. It's got a, a steady, controllable flight um, when I'm putting into the basket, and I only putt with these. Um, next disc is a new disc in my bag. Yeah. This is from the Wintertime uh, Marksman League. Um, I participated in that this winter, and this is a Glow Maiden. Um, I haven't got a chance to throw this one too much, um, just a few times. Um, I wiped the stamp off of it, and um, we've got a little few buddies that um, we have a, a saying for the, for the boys. Um, and so um, shout out to those guys, and um, looking forward to... to having this as a driving putter in my arsenal this year. Um, my go-to upshot disc is um, a classic soft judge. Um, I really like um, the predictable flight of this disc. I've had this disc for a while. Um, shout out to Paul Cross, uh, Paulie Cross out of St. Joe, Missouri, uh, for hooking me up with this sweet disc. Um, really love the, the grippiness of that classic soft plastic. Uh, and again, a predictable flight, uh, great upshot disc in my bag. Um, next, we'll go into some more stable putters um, that I have. Um, I carry two slammers. Um, the first one is a Burst Classic Soft Slammer. Um, this is the disc that I, I'll throw on an upshot um, if there's a little bit of wind um, or if I just really need the disc to stick around the basket. This is a very grippy Classic Soft plastic and um, really love the burst. Dynamics doing some great things, um, and Trilogy's doing some great things with these burst plastics. They're just, they look so good. Um, but yeah, I love throwing this thing um, on the baskets that are on a hill. You might get that roll away. Um, great disc for that. Um, the next slammer that I have is the Disc Golf Experience um, for 2017. That was at uh, Nissan Stadium. What a fun event. Um, love this disc. It haven't, hasn't left my bag since the event. Um, love the fluid plastic. Um, and again, this slammer is predictable in the wind. Very overstable um, for a little slower arm speed like mine. And I just love that I know where it's going to go. Um, I'll throw this one compared to the classic soft when I need a skip. Um, so I'm throwing that classic soft to get the stop. Throwing this one when I need a little bit of a skip. And my last putter in my bag is... Um, the deputy. Um, funny story about the deputy. I had a matching set. I still have them um, from the trilogy challenge, and I've aced with both of those discs. So um, the most aces I've gotten um, with one disc um, or one mold would be the deputy. Uh, this one's a newer one. I'm really um, trying to beat it in. It's got a little bit of a of a flat and just a little bit of a lean. I really like this to be my straight um, point and shoot disc. Uh, for upshots or for the smaller par threes. Um, but shout out to Paige Pierce and uh, four time world champion with this deputy. I know she loves to putt with these. Um, just a great overall flying disc and a great mold. We'll move on to mid ranges. Um, start with overstable to understable. Um, the first mid range that I have is the Justice. Um, absolutely one of the best utility discs in the bag. Um, I know a lot of our uh, Trilogy pros, um, Dynamic, Latitude, West Side pros are throwing the, the Justice, um, and there, there's a reason for that. Um, great with forehands, um, great um, backhand skip shots, um, getting out of trouble shots, or, you know, in Emporia with the high winds, going with the Justice. It's a predictable flight. Um, next is the Disc Golf Experience, um, the AT&T Stadium. Um, sparkle metal flake truth um, I believe this is um, it is an emac um, this to me um, I used to bag a verdict and this replaced that verdict um, I, I, I bag several truths and different stabilities 
and I like having um, one mold in multiple stabilities and um, this fly is similar to a verdict for me um, the metal flake um, Emac truth great disc um, the next disc is another truth it's a biofusion um, this is a, a kind of similar to a, a deputy for me a very but longer um, I can put this thing out there 280 um, sometimes 300 um, when there's not a lot of wind and I know it's going to go from start to finish in, in that predict predictable straight line um, starting to beat it a little bit and turning over just a little bit so I might um, have to work on a different truth in the spare collection into the bag but really love the biofusion plastic the next disc is um, the, the disc that's been in my bag the longest for my trilogy lineup um, when I started throwing trilogy discs uh, my buddy shot out Brad Cross um, he he's like man you gotta throw the truth you gotta throw the truth I was throwing a buzz and he's like you gotta pick up the truth so I, I finally bought one an Eric McCabe um, lucid um, 2010 world champion and absolutely love this disc very beat in very beat up um, and this thing is is I can put it on hyzer flip it up the flat it'll ride a little bit and sit um, I could throw it flat and it's gonna turn for me and just overall absolutely my, one of my favorite discs in my bag right now the uh, lucid truth and the last mid-range um, is new to my bag and um, it's the patrol um, I had the pleasure of uh, running a trilogy challenge last year and you know, cannot say enough about the Patrol. It's one of my um, new favorite discs in my bag. I'm really excited about this disc, just simply because, uh, you know, I, the slower arm speeds don't really get a hyzer flip stuff very much, and I can do that with this disc. Um, I can put it on a good good amount of hyzer, and it's gonna pop up, and it's gonna ride for days. And you know, I'm really excited about this disc in the woods and uh, on some of those more technical you know, holes that we play in Kansas City and, and, and Emporio. <clears throat> and then uh, on to my fairway drivers um, we're gonna go with uh, understable first um, this is the Maverick first run Maverick um, I've heard nothing but good things so I thought you know let me pick it up I'm, I'm looking for that fairway driver that can turn right or can be a straight flyer for me and that's the Maverick uh, really loving this disc uh, really excited about what this is gonna bring to my 2019 season uh, the lucid Maverick Next disc, um, and before I get into this disc, I want to give a shout out to Hand Eye Supply Company um, and Crispin. Um, real quick, I met him at the um, amateur um, um, Kansas City Amateur Tournament, and he had a booth out there, and I got to talking to him. And I really love a really nice guy, and really love the Hand Eye. Um, I was I really just like the stamp, and then when I kind of learned about the company a little bit more. Uh, had to get behind it. Love Hand Eye, um, love the subscription service, and I uh, can't say enough good things about Hand Eye. And then Party Sub also, Crispin's um, working in, in Party Sub too. Um, but next disc is I got from the subscription service, um, and I'm very excited about it. This is just a beautiful disc. I mean, that burst um, sitting on that Hand Eye stamp, I mean, just, just beautiful. Um, this is a getaway, and Really excited about this. Um, I've been practicing with this um, towards the end of last season. And man, you talk about some serious distance. Um, I actually um, was gonna get rid of this disc uh, because I, I try to throw whites, and yellows, and blues. This disc is in my bag right now um, because of going out and throwing it in the field. And man, it just flies so beautiful. Um, get a lot of distance off this disc. So I'm excited about this for the 2019 season. Next disc in my bag is the um, Explorer. We've got the two-time Ricky Wysocki um, Opto Explorer. Um, just an overall great disc, predictable finish. Uh, if I get it up to speed, I can get it nice and flat, let it ride, and it's gonna uh, finish predictably for me. Absolutely love the Explorer. Um, actually looking at bagging another one of these um, sometime this year, but great disc. Um, a lot of good shots coming out of that for me. Next disc is a um, my baseball stamp convict uh, I've bagged the convict for a while I've had this disc in my bag for a couple years now um, and man again just a reliable you'll hear you'll, you'll hear me say that word reliable a lot everything in the trilogy lineup is reliable and that's a big reason why I made the switch to to complete trilogy um, absolutely love the convict uh, great uh, hyzer flip up disc um, you know technical straight holes that I, I need a straight flight with some you know 300 plus range um, gonna go to that convict 
Um, the last fairway driver in my bag is the Felon. Um, I've had this disc. Um, this is the second longest disc in my bag, or oldest disc in my bag. Um, I bought this actually two weeks after I bought the Truth. Um, they love the Captain America stamp. And man, let me tell you, this thing you can see here, it's got some, some road burn, it's beat up, but it is predictable in how stable it is. I, this thing, no matter how hard I force it, it's going to work back. Um, and I just don't see this thing getting beat in ever. Um, it's just an overall great disc in my bag. The Felon. On to drivers. Um, new driver that I'm working in in my bag. Um, I'm trying to beat up a little bit um, is the captain first run captain um, this disc was released last year I believe and uh, great hyzer flip up disc for me um, a little bit higher speed so I really have to really put a good pull into it um, but man this thing does some real work distance wise uh, got some of my biggest um, distance shots out of this captain and really excited about having this in my bag um, I had it towards the end of last season and threw some great shots with it. I'm excited about 2019's uh, for that for that disc, the captain. Um, my go-to distance driver in my bag is the Sheriff. I bag three of them. Um, my we'll go understable to um, stable. Um, again, shout out to Hand Eye. Just love that stamp. I mean, that thing's just pretty. Um, this is my most beat-in Sheriff. Um, it's a fusion plastic. Uh, love the grip on it. Um, and man, I've thrown some bombs with this thing. Um, again, a little bit higher speed for my um, for my arm strength and everything, but overall, absolutely love the Sheriff. The moment it came out, I, I bought a couple of them, and man, they've, they've stuck in my bag. It's my go-to distance driver. Um, you know, if there's a little bit too much wind for the captain, um, I can pull out the Sheriff, and I know I'm gonna get that predictable straight to, to finish flight in the wind. Um, the second Sheriff that I have uh, is this Biofusion um, GBO stamped um, sheriff. Uh, shout out to Greg uh, Curtin, um, a buddy of mine from Kansas City. I lost this disc and um, it had a twin, um, and I lost the twin and this disc on the same hole back to back. And um, the twin still hasn't surfaced, but this one came home. Uh, again, thanks to Greg checking in with DDKC and the lost and found. Somebody turned it in for me, and Greg picked it up. And uh, what a guy! And one of my favorite. Um, discs in the bag also as far as driving goes because again that fusion and biofusion plastic man you can't beat the, the grip on that the last sheriff um, the most stable one is this lucid uh, sheriff that i got um i, I got this from a, a buddy online um from the, it's a wisconsin um pandemonium shout out to those guys too another great company hooking up with trilogy um making some some amazing stamps love the panda stamp and um uh, you know, this, this sheriff's a little bit more overstable for me. Um, so I know with a little bit of wind and I need a big bomb, I can put this one out there and the wind might kick it up, but it's gonna finish for me. It's not gonna turn and burn. So, um, and, and that's it for the sheriff. So now on to my stability. Um, last three discs in my bag. Uh, we'll start with my Defender. Um, probably one of the, the cleanest looking discs in my bag. Um, the hand eye stamp Defender. Um, very overstable, very predictable. Uh, pretty simple. When I want to throw a big spike hyzer shot, uh, I'm going to this defender. Very overstable. Um, don't use it for a lot of flicks, but backhand, I'm getting it up. Um, or if I need one to force one over and get a nice, you know, S through through, through some trees, I can use um, this defender for that. Great disc in my bag. Um, <clears throat> next stable disc in my bag for me um, at high speed is the Mislin. Um, this is the gold hex. Um, very different. I was kind of um, really had to work myself into throwing this. Um, this one's brand new. I had one that was beat in really well and I lost it down in Texas, down um, in Galveston playing with some buddies and um, hasn't returned home yet. So I picked up this one brand new, only been thrown twice by me. Very overstable and uh, probably won't see it a lot this year um, other than practice rounds trying to beat it in and work it. I might flick it a little bit, uh, but just love the missile and great predictable flight. Um, any trilogy throwers out there, if you're having trouble finding something for a spike hyzer or something for a flick, go check out the Mislin. Um, great disc from Latitude 64. Last disc in my bag is an Enforcer. Um, I bought this one with the Convict matching baseball stamp from DD. 
Um, it's getting beat in, but just like the felon, it's not going to stop being stable. Um, you know, I've tried forcing this thing so many times over on an Anheuser and man, it just flips and dumps and, uh, very predictable for me and my favorite go-to forehand, um, really clean out of the, out of the hand. Um, not really, um, worrying about turning it over cause it's going to stay flat and, and finish for me. And one of my go-to forehand discs in my bag. That's it for my discs. I'll go over a few quick things, um, accessories wise, uh, my minis, um, I've got my custom stamped, um, Eagle with the cross mini. Um, and, um, this is real quick. This is just for my grandpa. Um, uh, you know, um, he passed away, um, a little while ago and it's just, uh, it says the day is done, uh, gone the sun. And it's just, one of those things that reminds me of him, reminds me to be humble, stay humble on the course. And uh, and for windy days, um, I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate when your, your mini may blow away. I have this metal um, DD um, yin yang um, mini and this thing's not blowing away. Nice heavy metal. Um, and so I carry two of those in my bag. Um, Shout out to Crispin again with the party sub. Um, he gave me this sweet little pouch. I've got pencils in there. I can put a scorecard in there. Um, you know, all kinds of things. Um, and then, you know, the Midwest Amateur Championships. Got my tag here. I've got some of my tags from last season. Uh, I've got the number one tag from my local course. Um, really, really happy to get that. I brag about that as much as possible. Um, and then I ended up with the number 17 Kansas City dynamic tag so I was pretty proud of that too but uh, these tags will be actually leaving the bag next week um, as we get, as I get into um, the 2019 season picking up new tags um, always got to have the rule book um, the official rule book when you're playing tournaments um, or even when you're playing casual rounds and, and you got some buddies that have some questions about some rules uh, always got to carry a rule book with you even casual players I would recommend carry a rule book I carry some hot hands. Um, it's cold here in Missouri right now, especially. Um, so I carry hot hands with me. Um, got a um, gold retriever um, in my bag. Man, this thing saved a lot of discs. That felon has been dug out of the water a few times with this, and I'm very thankful. Um, one of the best purchases I've made. <clears throat> Let's see what else we got in here. Um, last couple things I'll cover. I have, I have a grip bag. Um, in my bag for you know when my hands getting sweaty or sticky um, got to have that grip bag and then um, always got to have a towel um, can't leave can't leave for a round without a towel um, drying off your disc and stuff this one's uh, been used quite a bit it's my trilogy towel from trilogy challenge a couple years ago um, and you always got to carry a towel um, glow rounds we play a lot of glow rounds so I've got a little light so you never lose your bag um, I've, I've heard of people actually losing their bags and glow rounds and so I picked one of these up and yeah um, I, I'm really looking forward to the opportunity to be a part of Team Trilogy uh, very excited about the 2019 season um, we've got a couple tournaments coming up March 9th and 10th um, with the Rosedale Cup and Canyon Waiko um, and uh, just really looking forward to um, getting my rating moved up again I broke the 900 um, gap last year sitting at a 903 very excited um, my goal is by the end of the year to be to 925 or higher and uh, you know uh, I'm all about trilogy and and love what the the three companies are doing um, and especially what dynamic discs is doing in Emporia I mean it's bringing so much to this to the sport uh, again my name is Nathan Stock and uh, I really appreciate the opportunity uh, to, to hopefully be a member of Team Trilogy